Hey everyone, today we are going to be playing with the new James Charles Morphe palette and I am doing makeup on my friend Miranda here. She is also my co-worker and I will be doing makeup on myself as well. So we're going to start off with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I am just priming her eyelids all over with this eyeshadow primer. I know James Charles said to use an eyeshadow primer instead of a concealer, so that's what I did. And now I'm going in with this peachy shade and applying it into the crease and just really blending that throughout the crease until I get the color payoff that I like. This is a very, very light shade, so it's perfect for transition shades for lighter skin tones. And this is my very first time using this palette, so this is my first impressions as well. So I'm going in with this bright red shade from the palette, and I am blending that throughout her crease from inner corner to outer corner, and really making sure it is nice and blended. As you can tell right here, I was having some trouble blending it, but I know he did say that some of the shades were pressed pigments, so you really have to pack them on first. That's what you see me doing right here, packing and then blending it out. And it blended out really, really well after I did the packing motion. So this is what it looked like. and. I still need to blend out that harsh line, but so far I am just getting the color that I want to go with and I'm just really building it up to get that really bright, beautiful holiday red shade. Now I'm taking the shade right above that bright red and this has a little more coral tones to it and it's a little bit lighter than that red. So I'm using this just to really blend and buff out that shadow all the way up to the brow bone. That way whenever I put the highlight on the brow bone it just meshes in very beautifully with the red. So now I'm going to do a very small half cut crease on her and I am just using a flat eyeshadow brush and the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to cut her crease. And I am not setting the eyeshadow, I did not set the eyeshadow when I put the primer on, I just went straight in with the shades. So this is showing you what the colors look like with no base set with an eyeshadow, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going in with this very beautiful bronzy gold shade, and I first tried applying this with just a flat shader brush, but I quickly realized that you definitely need to spray the brush before applying this eyeshadow because it makes a huge difference. As you can tell right here, it's going on a lot better than the first time I tried applying it. So make sure with any kind of metallics, 
or glitter eyeshadows that are just not coming up on the eyelid like you want just spray some setting spray it really doesn't matter which one any setting spray will do and that will just make your eyeshadow a lot more vibrant so this is what it looks like as you can tell there is quite a bit of fallout so I am just buffing that away And now I'm going back in with that red shade just to intensify it a little bit more. Since we applied the gold, it really kind of made the red not stand out as much. So I am just applying a little bit more of that and blending it in with the gold shade. Now I'm taking more of this reddish brown shade and mixing it with the bright red. And I am applying this to the outer corner to add a little bit more depth to the look. And again, a lot of fallout, so I'm just wiping that away. Now I'm going in with a liquid liner. This is the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner, and I am just giving her some wings. I am aware that her eyeliner is not perfect on both sides. One side is much, much larger and I actually fixed this after the video but I didn't realize it until after I recorded it so yeah that's why one's a little bit longer. She needs help doing mascara. Uh, and bottom. Like this? Yeah. No, that's the mirror. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> you want me to put highlight on my eyes? And now she's applying mascara. This is the Lash Domination by Bare Minerals. So again, I'm going in with that red shade and the reddish brown, and I applied that on her lower lash line, and then applied some liquid highlight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So for her inner corner highlight as well as her brow bone, I am taking this really pretty golden champagne shade 
So now for my makeup, I am doing one eye red and one eye green. So I'm just taking that same bright red and blending that throughout the crease as my transition shade. And then I'm going to take the brighter red right underneath it and deepen up that crease and outer V. And again, these shades are blending out really, really well. Now I'm going in with this Tarte Chrome Paint Pot Eyeshadow. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I will list it in the description bar. So I am just using this as my lid shade, and I thought it was really pretty together. And now for my right eye, I am going in with the neon green and applying this very lightly into the crease of my eye and just buffing that as the transition shade. And then I'm going to go in with that dark green again to darken up that crease and outer V. And then I'm taking a little bit more of that neon green and blending that out. So now I'm going in with the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is the green one. I think it's called Emerald. And just applying this all over my lid just like I did the Tarte Chrome Paint Pot. And I just think this looks so beautiful with the greens in this palette. So I'm super happy that I chose this because I thought it was so gorgeous. And then I'm taking more of that dark green and blending out that outer V. And then for my brow bone and inner corner highlight, I'm taking this very beautiful highlight shade. This is literally about to be my go-to highlighting shade for everything because it looked really really good on both eyes and they were two completely different colors you will see right here in the inner corner especially it just looks so beautiful layered on top of both of the eyeshadows in the inner corner and it's very blinding but it's not too blinding to where it's not wearable if that makes sense but yeah, you can see right here, look how gorgeous that is in the inner corner. And then I'm taking the red that I put in the crease on the lower lash line on the green side, and then the green in the crease on the lower lash line on the red side. And then I applied mascara, same one as Miranda, and that is it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you did enjoy it. See you guys in my next video and have a great Christmas.